Hello, I am Shirella, and I want to discuss something that I often find knocking around in my brain. So I was listening to a near-death experience a little while ago, and they were talking about how in the future, we will be people of creation. We'll be doing a lot of creating of the world around us, and that presently, we are in a lot of consumption. So think about this, the difference between creation and consumption. One builds and one uses. So what would be an idea of consumption? When I think about it, there's a lot of media to be consumed from things that we hear on the news, on movies, podcasts, radio, things that we are a part of as we look on social media, books, that we consume somebody else's experiences. Have you ever thought about that? That when you're reading this great adventure, you're actually not really doing it. You're consuming the idea of somebody else doing it. Music. I think that music can be both because you can listen to it and that's consuming, but you're also creating feelings within you and the potential for more things because you're listening to something that potentially could feed you. Also, you can create your own music through either playing an instrument or singing or writing music. So music can be a little bit of both because I think that music is give or take. Is there really any music that has never had that idea written? As I sit down and write music, I think, oh, I wonder how many times this little piece has been used through time from classical music all the way back to uh, the times when they had the minstrel players with their little... I don't even know what those in the instruments are, the little three-stringed instruments way back when. You know, what, what music has really not been created? Um, think about travel. When you travel, you could have both consumption and creation because let's say you hike to the top of a mountain. I would say that's creating. But let's say that you go and you um, watch a production or something on this trip that is consuming or maybe you are uh, consuming food on the trip or going to a gift shop and you're being a consumer not so much creation you're creating a memory I guess you could say and an experience so travel could be both think about cooking like for meal preparation or for the food that you eat do you just run down to the grocery store or to a restaurant and purchase something that you then consume. I find that when I cook at home, I'm able to be a creator of the things that we consume, which to me seems to give it more life, more love, which they say is the secret ingredient to cooking. It just kind of makes it more real. It's more of a real experience when you make your own food as opposed to going somewhere else. What I also love doing is going to a restaurant and consuming what they have and then coming home and recreating that for my family at much cheaper and hopefully as tasty as they presented it to me. Something that I really like to do, it's kind of my guilty pleasure that will always make me happy, is I usually have or I always have a thousand piece puzzle that I'm working on and while I'm doing this puzzle I'm also listening to a podcast that is self-help. So I'm listening and consuming someone else's ideas while I create a puzzle that's already been created, so I'm consuming, yet I'm building it. So I'm creating at the same time. So I'm both consuming and creating both the podcast and the puzzle. So to me, it's a little bit of yin-yang. It kind of balances out and you have a little bit of both. And I think that's what I like about it so much is that I am doing a little bit of both, consuming and creating. And then I take a lot of the ideas of what I listen to and then form them, create them into this YouTube video that I'm creating or this book or whatever that I'm going to then create. Um, I was so excited uh, a couple months ago I found this online business where you can create your own fabric. So I went on to a photo editing software uh, or I guess it's just not even photo it's just a, a creation software where you can make your own graphic design and I made myself some images on this square and then I was able to transfer it to this store online that then enabled me to be able to purchase my own fabric that I had created. I was so excited. I got just like this little swatch 
and this watch cost like 10 bucks so it's not even a whole lot I could do I thought maybe I could stick it in the middle of a decorative pillow but I was just so excited that I had created that design so I'm gonna ask you to think about through your day how often are you consuming and how often are you creating how would that be to live in a world where you mainly create and then ask yourself these questions. Am I using others, other people's ideas or mine? And what percentage throughout your life would you say you're using others' ideas or yours? Also ask, am I being an influencer or am I being influenced? And to what degree and is that good or bad? And then lastly, ask yourself, do I feel like I'm really living especially if you're doing a lot of consuming, are you really living? For me, I like to try to come up with a little mini adventure every day to make me feel like I am really living. And then I come home and write in my, in my journal what that thing is that I really did. Or sometimes I'll say a bigger adventure on Tuesday. I call it my adventure Tuesday. I don't know why Tuesday, mainly because that's probably the most boring day of the week for me. <laughs> so what can you create? And what can you create from what you're already consuming? We can be grateful and thankful for what we consume, but then we can also be grateful for the ability that we have that godly characteristic of creation that we can be a part of. Well, if you like this kind of talk about self-care, which this is creating and consuming, then you might like my program that I have for all around health with eating well, with moving your body more, and with getting better self-care. And you can find that by going online to www.honeydohealth.com in 91.com.